Lesson 25, finding measures of central tendency and dispersion. And? And. Now, measures of central tendency does not include range. So whenever you're asked questions about measures of central tendency, they're only talking about the three M's, mean, median, and mode. Can you sing the song? Yes, let's sing the song, everyone together. How's it go? <laughs> mean. Oh yeah, mode, mode, mode. The most average is the mean. Median, 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 median. always in between. Okay, so I'm assuming that you know that. So mean is the average, and we are using X with a line over it. That means the mean of X is all of the values added together divided by how many of those that you have. Um, we're going to need this when we talk about the standard deviation. So that's why we're just learning that um, notation. Yes, Justin, speak really loud. Okay. Uh, Louder. So how come uh, x with the line over it in algebra means like average, and then in geometry doesn't it mean like segment or something? No, yeah. if you, no, it does mean segment, but you have to have two letters to indicate a segment. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right. The median is the middle number. And it's when the numbers are arranged in order. It doesn't have to be least to greatest. It can be greatest to least. It'll just be the middle number either way. So if you happen to have two middle numbers because there's an even number of numbers, then you will find the average of those two numbers. Or the mean. Yes, or the mean of those two middle numbers. So the mean and the median. There's only one, there will be only one answer. The mode, you may have more than one. It's the data point or points that occur let's see, the data point that occurs most the often. That occurs most. Yeah. Mode Mode, mode, mode the most. So that just means it happens the most. And you may have more than one. So there can be no mode, and that would just be um, if they all occur at the same frequency. There may be just one mode, or there may be many modes, which two modes counts as many. So one there can be two or more. Wait, yeah, so could two or more. Except for one data point be the mode? Yes, yes. If one of them is, does not occur with the same frequency as all the rest, then that one would not be the mode, and all the rest would be. Okay. If they all occur at the same, with the yeah. same amount. Okay, Spencer. This will probably never happen. But if they gave us a list of numbers and only one number, would the mode just be that number? because it's the highest. No, there would be no mode. Okay. Okay, so if you don't have one higher than another, then so it's just no mode. Because it's like if there's more than one number, whichever has the most frequency is the Yes, mode. yes, that's the mode. Otherwise, well, there's no mode. Just give us one number. Yeah. What's the mean? What's the median? Okay, so the variance is it's the average of the squared. This is going to be kind of. Difficult till I show you an example. Difference from the mean.
Okay, so that's the the average of the squared difference from the mean. Wait. That doesn't even make sense to me well, yet. What's, yeah. the, what's the difference of? Like, what are the two numbers? The difference of? Average of the s squared. Oh, so is that? I think this is where you take each data point, square. subtract off the mean, From square the it, and find the average of all those numbers that you get. Oh, okay. And we use that when we're finding um, the standard deviation. It's just the square root mm. of the Can you an example of this? variance, I think. I'm making this up as I go, because I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, like my brother. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to finish the notes real quick, and then we'll go back to variance. Okay. Okay. So we help with the example. Yeah, you do. Wait, what about range? Range it's is not, not a standard uh, central tendency. You can still <coughs> find range, but it's not a measure of That's central. Well, but looking in my book. book. No, not central tendency. You weren't taught. You were taught how to this do it. Very, looking in my book, variation or <laughs> variance and deviation are in central tendency. They're in. How come I can't find it? It must There's not be in my table. book, and that's yeah, why. Yeah, we have two tables in yeah. ours. And one says measures of central tendency, and it says mean, median, mode. And then one says measures of dispersion, range of a data set, variance, and standard deviation. Oh, what does variance say? Is it what I just wrote? Of data set is the average of, of the square differences from the mean. Yeah. Yeah. So if, so if you subtract the mean from each one, square it. Then and find the average. How many? average of those. That's the variance. It's like a okay. It's like a mean paradox. Deviation has a lot of words. Yeah. So basically, my book didn't have this definition, and I got it out of your book to put in my notes, which doesn't even make sense to me. Okay, wait. I'm videotaping. I got to be careful about what I say. How far away from the mean the data values are? Like there's people who are going to defend Saxon against you. Okay, <laughs> so to indicate standard deviation, we use this Greek letter sigma, and you just call it sigma, kind of like pi, we just call it pi. And it just means standard deviation. To, so to find the standard deviation, we take the square root of the variance. So we take each value in our data set, subtract the mean, Square it. So it's pretty much the same thing without for without any other. Right. Okay. So if it's on a graph and it's uh This is what it looks like. Like how far the mean is in the data values. Um so you just say like this many numbers or it's a standard deviation. It can be like one standard deviation from the mean or two or three, like any data points that fall within that range. So if you found your standard deviation and it was a fraction, here, let me show you with the picture. So here's our bell curve. This is, um, I remember this. Yeah. So this is the mean right in the middle. That's the mean of all the, yes. the okay. And this would be like one standard deviation. Um, Sixty-eight percent of all the data will fall within the one standard deviation. Mom had to do this in college. I helped her with this. Nice, <laughs> nice. Okay. Wow. Then, ninety-five percent of all the data falls within two standard deviation. Yeah, I'll just put it to S D. And then, ninety-nine point seven percent of all the data will be within three standard deviations. What about four? Yeah. A hundred percent of it will be in 
Now, your calculator can do a lot of these um, <laughs> computations. So I think we should maybe practice on our calculator for, for a minute. That's why we um, put on our list that you need a calculator.